I'm Simon Peyton Jones. I'm the chair of the new National Centre for Computing Education, and I'm here to talk about why it's so important that computing should be a fundamental part of every child's education from primary school onwards. But first, let me just get into character. Ah, oh, that's better. I'm a research computer scientist. I work for Microsoft's research lab in Cambridge. But my interest in computing education started when I was talking to my children about their studies in what was then called ICT. And I couldn't make a connection between what they were studying at school and the subject discipline that I thought was so interesting that I devoted my professional life to it. That led to the creation of the Computing at School grassroots guerrilla movement for reforming the then ICT curriculum, which was more successful than any of us expected, to the point where I ended up chairing the working group that wrote the new program of study, something whose implications I think we are still working out. Based on the Royal Society's report Shut Down or Restart in 2012, the UK is now engaged in probably the most ambitious re-envisioning of computing as a school subject that is taking place anywhere in the world. The new English programme of study establishes computer science as a foundational discipline that all children should study at an elementary level, as they do natural science or mathematics, from primary school onwards. This will turn them from the slaves of technology into its masters. It'll turn them from mere consumers of technological stuff into its creators. But that presents schools and teachers with a huge challenge because they were never trained to teach computer science and our knowledge of its pedagogy is as yet quite limited. So the National Centre is particularly important here. Its main goal is to support and equip and encourage and provide resources for schools and teachers to turn that short, dry national curriculum into a rich, vibrant reality in every classroom in the land from age six through to age 18. So why should we teach computing as a compulsory subject to every child from primary school onwards? At school, we try to teach children something about technologies and skills which are of direct and immediate practical use, but we also teach them about foundational subject disciplines. And we do that so that they'll be able to use underlying ideas to survive and thrive in a world of rapid technological change. And it's just the same with computing, in which technology is changing particularly rapidly, and so it's particularly important to have some understanding of the underlying ideas and subject discipline. And I think this is important for us as a society, as well as for each of us as individuals. For us as a society, it's important for us to take judgments about what is good or less good in the light of knowledge about the underlying technology. Take the subject of AI, which is very topical at the moment. Should we be worried about the surveillance society? Should we be worried about AI taking all of our jobs? If we have no idea how AI works, we have no basis on which to take such judgments. But are those judgments are much too important to be left to a handful of geeks. We must have a broadly based enough technological understanding of what's going on to take well-informed judgments as a society. And it makes a huge difference for us as individuals. It's not just the software developers of the future. Across a huge range of professions, every child will need to make some use of computing technology. And if they understand how that technology works, they will be much more able to do those jobs and to get those jobs, and they will be, find those jobs much more rewarding and interesting. I think of computing as a kind of ladder into the top half of the hourglass that our employment economy has become, with highly skilled jobs at the top and low skilled jobs at the bottom. It's hugely empowering for us as individuals and for us as a society. I'd like to address teachers directly for a moment because you're at the sharp end of everything that's going on here. I'd like to convey a strong sense of educational purpose that the new national curriculum embodies an educational vision that really will make our young people's lives better, both as more empowered agents in society and also in their future job prospects. But I recognise that that's a huge ask of you because many of you do not have a computer science background. So I'm really pleased about the National Centre for Computing Education because its mission is to put you in a position to be that inspirational teacher by giving you schemes of work and resources and face-to-face -face training and subject knowledge enhancement and online training. We'd like to put you in a position to have the confidence and the skills and the knowledge to be that inspirational teacher 
that will change your children's lives. So suppose you're a computing teacher at primary or secondary, what's available to you right now? Number one, you can join the Computing at School Community of Practice, a bottom-up, volunteer-driven, grassroots organization. There are local communities of practice where you can physically meet some of your colleagues, and there's an online community and collection of resources you can draw on. As far as the National Centre goes, you should sign up right now for three different kinds of things. Number one is online and face-to-face -face courses leading to professional certification that will recognize and reflect your professional development. Second thing, a collection of resources, that means lesson plans and schemes of work that will take you right through from primary through to A-level. And thirdly, there's a network of computing hubs based in schools with a specifically local focus. Your local hub will respond to your local issues. We are together on a crusade to make our children's lives better by giving them a richer, intellectually fascinating and practically useful education in computing. Now, education is complicated and computing, or computer science at least, is a completely new subject in the national curriculum, so it is not easy. But still, it's only computer science, it's not rocket science, and our children are going to understand it, so we can too. There is a once in a generation opportunity. The NCC is the biggest single per capita investment in teacher professional development for computing education anywhere on the planet. This opportunity will not come by again. So don't hang about, seize the day, sign up with the National Centre and take the next step on your journey as a skilled and confident computing educator. And do it today.